Thank you. If you could describe yourself in one song, what song would it be? Oh, wow, that's very deep. Type <laughs> shit. We only going deep here, baby. Yeah. Oh. Come on now. We knew. Type shit. I don't we know. We knew. We knew John was cooking, yeah. bro. Give us some, give us some thought. Yeah, that's and, um, a really good question. And we I'm literally took a step back. Right back like, to when, okay. when Curry get hot, you let Curry get the ball, uh, J. Cole and you go y'all. mind your business. You just go out the way. Iso on Curry. Everybody get the fuck out the way. Move your man out the paint and just let him cook. That's what we did. Once he said that, if you look at the reaction of everybody, we knew what John was on. Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. That's our waiting. Good job. Here you go. Here's your mic. Um, Clean Queen, and I appreciate you for that, and I love you for that. Thank you, baby. Um, name, age, what you do for a living, and some things you like to do for fun. Okay, I'm Talia. I'm 31. I'm a makeup artist, a singer, and a full-time student. Okay. Um, and what I like to do for fun. I- what y'all think about her? Keep going. I like to make money. All right. Yeah. Don't we all? Yes. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> when you make money, it really is fun. You be like, ooh. Right. <laughs> I'm an R&B singer. Can we get a little song? What, to sing right now? Yeah, I'm saying. I already you go home. I'm over here playing with my feet. Yeah, you, say you, can, you say you can sing. Can we get like a little... I'm over here playing with my boo. Right. Look. <laughs> I'm an R&B Look. singer. Can we get a little song? I'm ready to go. But to sing right now? Yeah, I'm saying. If you say you sing, hold on, hold on, guys. You, you, say, you, can, you say you can sing. Can we get like a little a do re mi or something? Like a little something? A chorus? Okay. Um, I'll sing happy birthday. All right, give it to me. Happy birthday to you. Mm. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, whoever. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love it. Thank you. Rate it from 1 to 10 in the comments. I'll give it a 10. 12. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, what's some of your deal breakers? 12 uh, is crazy. Deal breaker. Liars. Number one. Come on now. Let's start with the fit. Dress is cute. Two sizes too small. Nice voice though. God. Tough crowd. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I agree. What y'all think of my foot, then? The voice y'all is... are harsh critics. I want y'all just so it don't look like I'm beating on everybody else. What was my feet looking like? My shit trash. You can tell the truth. The voice wasn't a ten though. I think it was like an eight, seven. If my dog Karina, you know what I'm saying, Gabby, Kai, when they sing that bitch, they'll make me cry. My feet was trash. Y'all got to shit on me too, just so it don't look like I'm just having a platform for y'all to beat on them. Please say something negative about me. The beads. Am I too tall? Cause I was the tallest nigga there. Yeah, she's she's singing a simple song with, okay. with happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I love it. Thank you. Rate it from well, one to ten trash. in the comments. I give it a ten. Twelve. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, what's one of your deal breakers? Uh, deal breaker. Liars. Number one, liars. I think everything stems from a lie. Mm-hmm. Um. And lies create more lies. She sounds like she had trauma. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> A liar. Um, I like a family-oriented man. I like a man that knows how to balance uh, anything, really. Yeah. Thank you, baby. It was basic. Thank you. <laughs> I'll take that. Come on. Keep coming. Keep shooting. Give me some more. That ain't even harsh enough. Two sizes too small versus basic. Uh, okay. So, yeah, I'll say. Fellas, my jacket off. Number six. Time. <laughs> yeah, I know we got some birthdays coming up. I know y'all caught the vibes. <laughs> I don't think the suit was required, but I wanted something more dressy. That me? Yeah. What suit? What's the suit? I don't wear no suit. Like how Buddy had in the corner. Oh. No, nigga, talk about me. Talk shit about me. He was going straight to work, so that's what he wear to work, so I couldn't kill him. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, you got any questions for the contestants? We have no pop um, so that's amazing. I also didn't like that they, I don't even think they said that, though. What? Because they was going in on how, how he dressed. Did you hear that in this video? Mm-hmm. And in person, they was going in on how he dressed. They like they just don't like his style and shit. Yeah, but well, he was going to work. I think it was her who said it. To oh, be okay. I want you more dressy. All right, I'll take it. But after seeing it, never mind. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Maybe some non-negotiables you want to get out there, see see what's going yeah, on, what's, just to get to know. Yeah, I would say, what's y'all number one deal breaker? Okay, girl. Uh, like name, John age, what you do for a living, John and your was number smooth. one deal breaker or non-negotiable? Uh, 
non-negotiable would be someone. Hold on, hold on. Give me your name, because oh, it's the first time she's been. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my name is Alex. I'm 33, and I work in the nightlife, um, and I have my own business. And for me, a non-negotiable would be someone who doesn't want to communicate and work things out. Um, okay. Everybody tends to look for a red flag to just walk out. Mm -hmm. uh, and everybody has baggage. Everybody ha is not perfect. Right. So trying to find that middle ground and compromise is really important to me. Okay. Uh -huh. um, name, age, what you do for a living, and a non-negotiable. I'm Jai, I'm 27. I hated my answer. Let me hear it. Seven, I was back content the back, so I ain't really. I hated my answer. Coordinator. Mm -hmm. um, Non-negotiables would probably be, I don't like when people try to put their boundaries like on me, you know what I mean? So like, I like if you way. have. I feel like I should have I explained it better. If I would have just said like, your insecurities. Yeah. I don't like people put their boundaries on me. And what I mean by that is I don't like when people put like, make their insecurities try to make it my reality. Yeah. Is what I should have said. No, I understood that though. Right. I have, like, so just I'm an example. Like, girls might be like, oh, I don't, why do you follow this girl? Why do you be with this girl? Like, why is this girl your friend? Da, 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 da. Like, I don't like to have to. The insecurities start coming out. Yeah. Okay. So then, like, once you try to tell me, like, oh, it's well, either me or them, or like, mm -hmm. do an ultimatum. Right? That was crazy, ain't it? Whatever. Anything oh. like that, like I'm out of there. So okay, yeah, yeah. All right. Name, age, what you do for a non-negotiable. I'm Ali. I'm um, 28. I'm a filmmaker I and a non-negotiable. I thought she was an insecure too. woman, someone who's not uh, confident in herself. Of course, or... think, think, yeah, but of course, because like, I just, I just, I wish I would have said I don't like when people try to put their boundaries on me and then make me responsible for their insecurities. Is what I should have said. I'm constantly needs outside validation. Um, that's just can't do that. Right. Okay, that's a good answer. Name, age, yes. what you do for a living? I thought they were a perfect match. match. How you doing? My name's John. I'm a full-time artist. Uh, you look stunning, by the way. Oh, thank you. Um, so non-negotiable for me will probably be somebody who's a liar, um, maybe somebody who is very insecure. I peep gay. I peep gay. It will probably be somebody who's a liar, um, maybe somebody who is very insecure at times. I, don't I peep gay. I don't mind providing validation, however. Mind you, he said everything that he just heard. He said everything that ev he just like summed up every man's answer that came before him. I peep game. I peep it. He's smooth though. The smooth goat, nigga. Bro, the every, he didn't come up with nothing original. Everything everybody had said and she said before, he threw in there. Is very insecure at times. I don't, I don't mind providing validation. However, I do think somebody got to be secure in themselves. And I need a nurturer. I need somebody that's really going to provide. And then know. he brought it all, all home with his own. He finally answered a question. He didn't answer the question until he got like that. Now he's answering the question. He took everything he heard before. He said, like, all right, now let me get my answer. He was cooking. He was cooking. Secure at times. I don't, I don't mind providing validation. However, if I was a professor, he'd get an A on this paper. In himself. And I need a nurturer. I need somebody that's finally really answered question provide, right there. You know, that safety and security emotionally for a man Poetry and know real. how to treat him. For okay. sure. Now, I want to peek. Look at my face. I'm big hating. On God, I'm hating. <laughs> on, I, I peep game early. Look, I don't mind providing validation. I told Ali everything. Yo, hating. Very insecure at times. I don't, I don't mind providing validation. However, Hold I on. do think somebody got to be secure in themselves. And I need a nurturer. I need somebody that's really going to provide. Hating? Because you know, I knew he finally answered the question. Emotionally for a man. <laughs> Whatever. And know how to treat him. For okay. sure. Still hating. Now, I want to piggyback on that nurturing. Yeah. Are you looking for a mom? Or are you looking for? Absolutely not. I have a mama. I love my mama. My okay. mama is one of my closest okay. friends um but i want a wife i want somebody that i could grow with, See? with. Hey. somebody that's gonna know how to let me lead and, and step in my position and help he me was out two steps ahead. Sure. All right. name age was you before living i hate you big time how are you uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> fuck john i'm in the army shout out to 31 john. um model actor um a deal breaker for me uh, of course liars insecurities um also, someone who doesn't know how to keep hating. themselves calm and crazy. We didn't have to stand through Yo, yo, go back, go back. No, I like to... You didn't have to stand through Yo, this is smooth ass thing. Look at him, look at him. He put the toothpick in the mouth. He, and he looked back at us. So he said, so yeah. I don't see the disrespect. <laughs> yeah. Look what he do to us after he did that. He said, I'm him. Look, listen, listen. Look, look, watch John okay. from now on. <laughs> Name, look. age, what you do for a living, and a non-negotiable. He looked up. Oh, uh-huh. Yeah. I'm, I'm telling you. Him, <laughs> Fuck y'all thought. He looking at us. 
I'm in. I know. Thirty one. Yeah. Hey, um, fuck John, actor. nigga. Um, Shout out to John. Too me. big. Yeah, uh, nigga. Yeah. He knew he could. Um, fuck John. Also, someone who doesn't know how to keep himself like, yeah, calm in crazy situations. Mm-hmm. You know, I like to, mm-hmm. you know, let's gather Poetry, up. We'll art, composure. Yeah, yeah, you know, gather up your composure. Let's keep everything calm and try to figure this thing out instead yeah. of just. I'd be lying if John wasn't the reason why I opened back up my notebook. I'd be lying. <laughs> I went back to my notebook. I fell asleep and came back and y'all asked still on the street. We almost done. Yeah, we almost done. We almost I don't know done. how the hell we still reacted to this shit. We almost done. But fuck that nigga John. Shout out to John. <laughs> Acting on the motion. Yeah. Okay. Um, how do y'all know each other? Up, Social Drew? media, friends, history? High school. So y'all got a game tomorrow? So I was going to ask, like, if you know him, do you Y'all got a game tomorrow, Drew? If you know him and you don't see it being an interest, or if you still like, oh, she looks great. This, she looks way different from my, oh, she looks, you know, this ain't high school anymore. <laughs> you know, she, yeah. she happy, you know what I mean? Like, damn. Like, you know, <laughs> yeah, this ain't spirit week. You know, this, this is a new day, you know, so. <laughs> oh, bye week, all right, cool. So, um, Shout out to y'all, Name, man. age, I'm due for living, see y'all and non yeah, my name is Justice. I'm 25. I own an apartment company. Again. And is it um, or something? for me, just someone who's not open to trying new things. Oh. I like to, you know, get out of my comfort zone again. and do, you know, stuff, new stuff. You know, that's what I like to do. And if someone's not, it's the only bitch he ain't pop, by the way. I feel like this. We knew this was the last shorty, so it was like, fuck it. Let's really try to dive in on this last one. Oh, y'all honest. niggas greedy. Nah, you ain't bro. do that. Honestly, I was in love off rip. Off the turnaround, I was in love. So. And then when I seen Shorty, I was like, I knew I made the best decision. To yeah. be honest. For zone and do, you know, stuff, new stuff, you know, as like as I like to do. And if someone's not my partner's not like that, I think it won't work long term. So that's my thing. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right, let's take it back. That was everybody. Those were some phenomenal answers. Right. Uh, right. Um, so from that, two, four, six, I'm gonna have you pop two balloons. It's the hard part, huh? Okay. Oh, okay, that's one. Um, she popped me. Mm. That's two. All right, so we're here. Mm-hmm. Uh, why did you pop his balloon? He's not really my type. What about him? Is, All right, uh, Jack. Why did you- she mm. popped me. Give me one second. I'm trying okay, to that's one. Mic, um, but I don't know why she popped me. Mm. All right. Let me tell y'all how she, how I felt after she did this. All right, so we're here. Mm-hmm. Uh, why did you pop his balloon? He's not really my type. What about him is not your type? Um, the dress code and the beard. Okay. Yeah. All right. She talking about Buddy in front of me. She not talking about me right here. Oh, uh, this is because I'm I'm heading to work right after I work out. And he was hurt about it. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. He sounded hurt to me. He was hurt about it. I can't lie. And the beard. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, uh, this is because I'm I'm heading to work right after I work out. Oh. Yeah, that's. Yeah. I'm sorry. He was hurt about <laughs> this. Right. Why'd you why'd you hang on to your balloon? Uh, well, I was uh, vibing with uh, with the singing. I liked her voice a lot. Thank um, you. And yeah, just the energy was was great. She yeah. couldn't say shit to me because I knew I had that shit on. Basic or not, I knew I had that shit on. Oh, awesome. He's Thank a club you. promoter. Huh? No, I work I work at the club. You work yeah, at yeah, the club. Yeah, yeah. I feel Multiple like it's a red clubs. flag. As a red flag? Why? A little bit. Why? Mm, I don't know, like y'all see He was asking too much questions too. You gotta let that go, baby. Different people every single night. Y'all kinda of- That I also when she said you see people every single night, it made me low key feel like she was insecure in a way. I vibe with different women every single night type that, of thing. That doesn't mean that I am um, promiscuous. My longest relationship was twelve years. I was Now he is in a dangerous game. And what I mean by a dangerous game is once you do all that, like now you look hurt. Like now you look like you look like you got trauma. You look like you hurt. You look like you need to go talk to your ex bitch. Like he fucked up. Like this is where you fucked up. He was already giving her too much. And now when he went into context like that, it's like, all right, baby, like who hurt you? Cause that's what it sounded like. It didn't it didn't sound it wasn't pee at all. It wasn't nothing smooth about this. Night type that, of thing. that doesn't mean that I am um, promiscuous. He should have let it go. He shouldn't even said that. My longest relationship was twelve years. And then he added my longest relationship. So he's like, all right, go get your wife back. Cause now you're doing too much. She ain't even say nothing. All she said is like your style and your beard. And then now we're on this. You're doing too much. 
I was married. I so what bought. happened? Why did y'all break up? Uh, she. Look, look at how I reacted to this. I'm, so I'm like, where all this trauma came that from? That is also the thing that sucks about men is that we don't have the same leeway, bro. No, we don't. No. And this is why we conducted ourselves throughout this whole show. The way we did. In the way we did. Correct. Because as he just said, one answer like that just shows You're cooked. a way. Exactly. You're, You're cooked. cooked. You're cooked. You're cooked. And then now you're going in the back and forth. Mind you, she didn't even ask you all that. She didn't even say all that. You're cooked. My longest relationship was 12 years. I was married. Why are you giving that? Uh, She lost feelings. Look at how perplexed I am and the boys are. We were not expecting this answer. He was going in. My longest relationship was 12 years. I was married. So what happened? Why did y'all break up? Uh, She lost feelings. What the fuck just happened? You know, things happen. Okay. We just do that, yeah. Y'all grew apart. I tried to hold him down, mm-hmm. but it was it was cooked. All right. All right. Uh, Look at Ali. Just do that. Yeah. Y'all grew apart. Yeah. Okay. He knows. Right. Goddamn boy, you just you cooked yourself. Yeah. Uh, Niggas. Yeah, you who know you. they him. Be like, all right. We would have took that pee once she popped it. it just that's kept why, it like that. Yeah, that's why Ali was like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm still I, I kept that pee. She popped me. I kept that moving. Um, why did you pop his balloon? The beads. I like the beads. The beads, baby. I like the beads. We can take the beads out, baby. They don't have to stay in. They gonna stay in. But they have an option of coming off. I could put rubber bands in instead. I could do any like I could do anything. It doesn't have to be beads. I like the beads. Whatever. Fuck that. She was my type me. No way. No respect to her. I knew we wasn't there. I just kind of wanted to see, oh, like you in school, like what you in school for? Like that's really genuinely what I wanted to know. Mm-hmm. Yes, I can't get into it. No, my homegirl didn't like that, so it's all good. Okay. And my, I do have a homegirl. I'm a godfather to both her kids. She don't like the bees neither. Yeah. All right. The bees could come off though. Like, you know? Shout out to T for holding me down. Yeah. No, my homegirl didn't like that, so it's all good. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. The bees could come off though, like you know what I mean. <laughs> it's, but it's first it could be a rubber band next week. First impression. First impression. Yeah. Oh, he said rubber bands too, so he know what time it is. He also got hair, so it makes sense. Okay. All right. If it wasn't the bees, he would have. Maybe. Chilling. Maybe. Right. Okay. All right. Why did you hang on to your balloon? I was kind of curious on like what you was going to school for, like if you was a full time oh, student. Oh, um, so. physical therapy. Okay. So yes. like. Where, is this a career change? Like, were you some? No, just I, I'm a person that likes to have a backup plan. So I just feel like I like to have a lot of stuff under my belt. Okay, so yeah. like you've been singing this whole time, basically. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Mm, I've been a makeup artist. I've been singing, but like back and forth. But I was just like, I want to go to school. Okay. Yeah. Respect. Yeah. I ain't gonna shit on that. I was going to, cause she said backup plan. I'm like, it's kind of late. Yeah, I don't like no. Either you all in or not. Like, mm. is this what you really want to do? Yeah, I'm so. with you. But I didn't want to shit on it. Because, like, yeah, you know what? Maybe she put some logic in it. Yeah, something could have happened. Yeah, I'm not mad at that. Yeah, I like school, so that's why. Oh, okay. And I went to school twice. What did you go to school for? So, undergrad, I went to, I was playing football. So then I ended up at, like, Southeastern oh, okay. Lakeland. And then I got my undergrad in sport management. Mm-hmm. And then I went, to, went on to be a graduate assistant. And then I got my MBA. So, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. You want him to get a balloon back? No. Yeah, All right. Cool. Now, I'm not saying she hurt my feelings. I wouldn't even want that. But I was upset that that, because then what she continued to talk about after, I'm like, what? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's no, you, uh, I was, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I was true. I was you want him to get a balloon back? No. Yeah, All right. Cool. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> right, so Slapped it off. It was cool. We have four here. I'm going to give the guys the opportunity to ask you a question. Come over and step a little okay. closer. Uh, do you have a question for her? Yeah. Um, you say you're a makeup artist and uh, you sing as well and you're going to school. So, like, what's actually your goal? Like, what's your dreams in life? I just want to be wealthy and I don't want to be a slave for the rest of my life. And that's why when she said, do you want me to get a balloon bag? She said, no, I was no longer upset. That answer was trash. And I agree with you on that. That answer was so that's trash. That's where somebody yeah. told me that they thought that this would have been my choice as well. If you know me, this is not the answer. Not at me. all. So when she said, "Oh, I just don't want to," I'm like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, what?" I just want to be wealthy, and I don't want to be a slave okay. for the rest of my life. Like I want to be able. 
Look at my face. I was disgusted. I can understand the well. slave aspect of it. Me too, because I work a lot of hours sometimes. Yeah, when you have money and been around money, that you understand that it comes and goes, bro. Yeah. It literally comes and goes. So. It do. But go ahead. When you're going to school, so like, I was what's actually your goal? Though. Like, what's your dreams in life? I just want to be wealthy, and I don't want to be a slave for the rest of my life. Over Like, it. I want to be able to get up, travel, Over do whatever it. it is that I want to do, and not have to worry about what's in my account, or like, damn, I have to clock in today, I got to take a client, da 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 Like, I want freedom. Right. Now, I can like, do that, though. I can feel that. Do you have morals behind that? Like, are you willing to do anything? You see how Ali had to ask another question, though, because it wasn't a good yes. enough answer? Yeah, I feel it. That's, I'm answer, with Ali on this. His question was definitely of importance. Because. Yeah. Anything for money? No, or no, like, no. Definitely cool. not willing to do anything for money. Cool. Um, I got standards. I got morals. Um, it, the, the, the thing about me is I feel like even at this age, I do anything that I feel like is pleasing in my mom's eyes. Right. So, like, if I don't want to disappoint my parents, so I'm not going to be doing anything for money. No, yeah. I feel that. My mom, my most important person in my life, so See? I respect that. Exactly. Okay. That's awesome. Exactly. All right. <laughs> you have a question for her? Yeah, for sure. My name's John, 27. Mm -hmm. um, you have a beautiful voice. Thank you. If you could describe yourself in one song, what song would it be? Oh, wow. That's mm -hmm. very deep. Type <laughs> shit. We only going deep here, baby. <laughs> oh. Come on now. We knew. Type shit. I don't we know. knew. We knew John was cooking. Yeah. Give us some, some thought. Yeah, that's and, um, a really good question. And we literally took a step back. back like, like when, okay. when Curry get hot, you let Curry get the ball. Uh, J. Cole. And you go mind your business. You just go out the way. ISO on Curry. Everybody get the fuck out the way. Move your man out the paint and just let him cook. That's what we did. Once he said that, if you look at the reaction of everybody, we knew what John was on. Okay. That's awesome. Right. Look at everybody's <laughs> reaction. Every yeah, single sure. person. My name's John, 27. Mm -hmm. um, you have a beautiful voice. Thank you. If you could describe yourself in one song, what song would it be? Oh, wow. That's... Look at my face. Like, huh? Everybody like, ho, ho, ho. John cooking right now. Very deep. Type shit. <laughs> we only going deep. Everybody deep. cooking right now. Oh. Come on now. Type shit. I don't know. It's okay. Take your time. You know All right, give us some, give us some thought. Yeah, that's really good the question. I'm gonna bounce yeah. this uh, question Yo, right back to him. Okay. What song would describe you? Uh, J Cole for your eyes on. Yo, he's cooking. I'm like, he's, cooking. <laughs> he's cooking right now. He's cooking. He's cooking. He's cooking right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> not that. He's cooking right now. He's cooking. Damn, I don't have a, I don't have a song that is. That is the greatest. Me. That is the greatest, greatest. answer you can yeah, ever yeah, possibly John got say, one. bro. I've never heard nothing better than that. That is the greatest answer you John can got one. ever possibly say. That's one. I didn't even know they put the edits on it like that. They knew he would cook. John was cooking. He's cooking. I'm like, gang. John, John was cooking. It was over He's cooking. That. He's cooking. <laughs> okay. Oh, not that. Okay. He knew. He's cooking. Damn, I don't have a... This, this is John No Dreads. Y'all should have seen John with dreads. Facts. This, this is, is John this no is a, dreads. This is a nerfed this John. This is nerfed John, bro. This, <laughs> this is a nerfed. And John had the long, healthy dreads type shit. Like, longer than your shit. Like, this yes. is a nerfed John. Y'all don't know dread John had, bro. Y'all don't know the dreadhead John. Because this is smooth. Nah, if y'all would have met dreadhead John, y'all cooked. I'm talking poetry slam John. Cooked. Yeah, you're cooked. Fucking cook. This was just a, this was another day at the office for him. This nigga was opening up for me. No, he was he was I was opening up for him. Him. Yeah. Him. Yeah, John. He was the main attraction. Yeah, I don't know about John for real. Nah. He key it's it's a smooth right here. Look, I don't have a song that'll describe me. No rush. Come back to me. Oh. Okay. Come back to me. Look at look at what's his name? Where is Mike. Look at Mike. He was going in. Me. No rush. Come back to me. Oh. Come okay. back to me. Is crazy. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. All right. We're gonna come back. Yeah, we're gonna come back to me. It's crazy. <laughs> and uh, we'll answer these two questions. And then okay. Okay. what do you say? you the follow up? What do you say after that? It's cooked. Yo, he looking at me. Yeah. I'm, I'm in the back. I'm looking at John. I said, nigga, you are cooking. Nigga was also just on. You are um, cooking. Do you want kids in the future? Absolutely. I want kids now, but I want to be married first. Damn. 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 All 
<laughs> and why'd you pop your balloon? I just don't want any kids in my life. That's all. I like for me and my wife to just do whatever it is that we want to do mm -hmm. and just be free for any spontaneous. I appreciate him standing on that. Okay. All right. And then, um, so would you be open to dating someone that already has kids or you just don't want any kids in general? No, I'm not open to dating anyone who has kids. Okay. You don't want any kids? I don't want any, no kids. Damn, that's rough. Appreciate it. That's, that's rough, fine. Yeah, Oprah, real? Oprah now, uh, Ellen. He stood on it. You know, different strokes for different I'm folks. Sure. Waste nobody time. Life is a little boring without children, no? Um, name, age, and your question? <laughs> yeah, my name is Justice, I'm 25. And um, outside of work, school, what are you passionate about, what do you like to do? Um, I love playing dress up. I like fashion. I like makeup. Um, I like trying new things, like you were saying. Like, I get bored. I think it's because I'm an only child. It's a lot mm -hmm. of stuff that I be wanting to try. So I'm always doing something to keep myself busy. Gotcha. Yeah. OK. Cool. And do you have your song of choice ready? I don't. Ready? I'm still That's thinking about that. I'm just I've thinking about I've never heard that question about in my life. I'm just thinking about it. I'm just thinking about it. <laughs> artist, 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 an album that describes me. Probably Lemonade. OK. Yeah, Beyonce. Beyonce, Lemonade. Mm -hmm. right. OK. Yeah. I saw some your back. Huh? <laughs> um, it's three balloons. I'm yes. going to have you pop one. You still have a two-pick? I do. All right, handle it. Mm. Sorry, Justice. Oh, come on, where you going? Come oh. on back. Yeah. Yeah, she remember his name. Back in the coverage. Yeah, right. <laughs> Sorry. I don't remember anybody's name. Even I mean, the, the mother. I don't like him, but he's shy. I don't like shy. People. You think I'm shy, actually? I think so. You not? I don't think so. No? Yeah. This nigga Justice remind me of my uncle, dog. And I don't even know how to explain it. But he reminds me of my uncle. I see him and I see just old head. Yeah. I promise you. Which is crazy because I didn't think he was shy in any aspect. Me either. Of this nigga all. stood on everything he wanted to stand on whenever he felt like standing on it. I That's mean, a lot, you know, three cameras on us, lights. That's true. Yeah. yeah. I like, enough, um, I feel like try to be a little more memorable in okay. a sense. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like he's shy. Like, you probably have something under there that you. Holding back. That's how I feel. Not He's not used to having to not be fine. That's what I got from her answer. She's like, you fine and all. But you got to do a little bit more than that with me. That's that's what she gave off. Okay. And why'd you hang on to your balloon for so long? Uh, yeah, the drink yeah. wanted to be tight. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was, the main thing just me was the age. I probably would have ended up popping for that, I think. You think I'm old? I'm just 25. You're 31. I'm like a five. My family's five years. You know, but I want to hear it out. That's why I'm a balloon. You know, okay. so. But I feel like his well, mentality. You're five could be, or six years younger than you. Before? I haven't. Okay, but, but you're right. The mentality could be that. Yeah, he could be. You could be 31 in the mind. You could be older in the mind, but. I agree with that 100. Yeah. I just think you I'm know. 31 year old immature. Exactly. That's very hey, true. Hey, what you trying yeah. to say? I'm immature. <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> it's not about me though. All right, so um, we got two balloons. Do you have a question for these guys? Okay. Like a good question that would help you. Pop one of their balloons. Um, Pick between the two. I want to ask you. Okay. What drives you to wake up? Like, what makes you wake up every day? I mean, I wake up every day regardless. You know, I think everyone do that if you're not dead. But <laughs> <laughs> what, like, what gets you up every day? Um, my goals and my passions. You know, um, I'm a filmmaker and I have a lot of goals and passions. Like, uh, the reason I got into film is to leave a legacy. You know, if I die tomorrow, my people got something to see that I created. You know, so that really pushes me. Um, and you know, I gotta make it. You know, I gotta get my mom that big house on the hill. You know, and uh, eventually have a family and take care of my kids. And one big thing to me is like, um, you know, shout out dad. My dad worked three uh, jobs. You know, but he wasn't really in my life. I don't want that for my kids. I want to okay. be able to go to my kid basketball game, uh, raise my kid, be there for those moments. You know, um, it's just something I didn't Stand have. Up, nigga. I want. So you know, that's what really drives me and my goals. Okay. All right. You got another answer. question for him? Um. Or well, same question. Yes, that's fine too. What was your longest relationship? Great question. Um, my longest relationship was two years. Why two? Um, we just grew apart. I feel like it was long distance. She lived in New York. I lived in Florida. Oh yeah. We tried it. Didn't work out. Cool friends now. I got a lot of platonic relationships. That's all. Okay. So you friends with exes? Uh, not with her specifically, but a couple that. of them. Yeah. We cool. I'm cordial. Okay. All right. What about you? Yeah. It was your longest relationship? What was your longest relationship and are you friends with any of your exes? My longest relationship was 11 years. Nice. Um, Look 
That's your boy. And she didn't even want to answer that. No. She didn't want to answer that. At all. I was cooked. The relationship was 11 years. Nice. Um, what the fuck? 11? <laughs> 11 is crazy. You still love him? No. Right. Um. <laughs> yeah. That's cap. Cap. The longest cow. relationship was 11 years, and friends with my exes, no. Your ex, your ex, for a reason. Cool. I don't think we have anything to talk about after yeah. that. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Okay. And then the same question you gave him, what, what gets you waking yeah. up in the morning? Oh, me? Mm -hmm. It's really the same thing he said. Like, just another chance to chase the bag, really. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, from that, I'm going to have you pop one of their balloons. It's tough. I know. Yeah, it's tough. I felt the deep sigh. Right, man. Right. Real shit, real Semis. Shit, real shit. <laughs> 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 no cuffing, by the way. <laughs> real niggas. Real yeah. niggas. Damn, that's hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. She knew already. She was playing. Mm. <laughs> I don't understand that because I felt like their answers were so compatible. So it doesn't it doesn't make any, any sense. sense. It's never me. going we're from Mars, they're from Venus, brother. You're right, you're right. <laughs> you're right. All right, come on, stand right here. Okay. Uh, why did you pop his balloon? Hold on. I don't know. I think I'm leaning more towards John. Okay. Yeah. All right, it was just you. He a little leaning. smooth. A little smooth? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, John, come on, step up here for me, please. <laughs> a little smooth. John, do you have any final questions? Um, I think we could say that for our first date. Okay. Yeah. And uh, do you have any final questions? I do. What's your idea of a first date? Um, so I'm actually going to this R&B night tonight. If you want to come by, check it out with me. It's a live music. Love to um, get involved with the community. Um, so yeah, Sick. just live music, live entertainment. Like I said before, the beach, probably something nice, chill, relaxing. Mm -hmm. Maybe have a nice dinner. That's it. And then while the iron's hot. Um, I okay. got one more question. Take it. What's your sign? Damn, on it's live crazy. TV. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even peep that sound. That I didn't know they threw that in there. <laughs> that boy hung up. Cause why everything was going good till she asked that? Why you asked why? that? Why? You just you, just, you, you low key lost bad points for asking that. Everything was smooth until you did that. Hold on, I didn't know they put that sound effect in there. I okay. got one more question. Take it. What's your sign? Damn. <laughs> 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 Everybody cross your fingers yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a Capricorn. Oh. Christmas Day. Mm. Okay. Um, All right. What about you? Pisces. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. We gang shit. Pisces gang. Love okay. Ladies first. Um, do you see him as a match? I think so. Yeah. Uh, and do you see her as a match? Absolutely. We got another match, guys. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, right there. Bow. Yeah. yeah. Feel good. Yeah, hell yeah. All right, did y'all feel y'all were gonna be a match? Did you, when she came out, did you already look at her? When when you came out, did you already look at him, or it was through the conversation? PJ John. Um, for me, it was through conversation. A little bit of both. I mean, she's beautiful. Thank you. Um, I heard the voice. Our girls ain't really fuck with us, bro. Based you know, on these um, answers, bro. Around, it is you know, what it is, bro. Play by play. All right. <laughs> Hard drive. Like, okay. Her, you know what I'm saying? Um, but no, she's beautiful, and I look forward to getting to know you. Appreciate y'all rocking with me. Thanks for tuning in to another episode. Smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and turn all notifications on. Tell a friend to be sure another friend about the channel. Shout out to all the matches. I'm going to be following up with y'all. But shout out to all the crew. Come on, y'all. Come on. Come on real quick. Come on. Come on. Normally, I just I throw them on the screen, put their IGs, but everybody doing some phenomenal things. Shout out to Myra. Myra, where can they find you at? I'm mini Myra everywhere, That's except really only want. fans. Please. Okay, okay, okay. You know, I have I a, swear a that really business, want. Myra Visuals. It's called the Elite right. Booth. Book me for your next event, weddings, quinceaneras, all that. I'm an actress I'm as well up. and content I'm creator, so way. check me out. Film, photography, photos, everything. Where can Mariah they find you? IG, McKinskin. M-C-K-I-N-S-K-I-N. So last but definitely not least, Ricky. Not slide on in. What's going on? Uh, what's cool good? It's Ricky, uh, photographer, filmmaker, writer. Uh, Close Friends Season 5 coming out. And Braid Season 2. Stay tuned. See y'all on the next episode. If you want to be in the episode, link in the description. Hit me in the DM. If you're in South Florida or if you got wheels and you're in North Florida, come on down. Uh, <laughs> jump on the episode. Appreciate y'all. Be blessed. We out. Be blessed. Be on the line <laughs> Where's that too, brother? Mm -hmm. Follow Any final me at Megan's M-E-G-G-U-M-C. Um, just to wrap it up, you know. Yeah, yeah. It was dope.
Um, definitely could have been a better selection of women, but I still think it was a dope. You came experience. up on top. Oh, I definitely did. Yeah, you came up but on top. I was like low key lucky. Like if I didn't high get... key lucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like so high key lucky. I I lo- I didn't get no luck. Yeah. I was cooked. Uh, I'd have been, but been you know what? Shout out to the girls that held me down. To co- Speaking of comments, actually, let me let me look what they got in here real quick. But shout out to the girl that held me down in the comments, bro. I Thanks. seen y'all. I appreciate that. Um, Go ahead. If I didn't find my match, I definitely would have been down for doing that shit again. That shit was dope, you know. So, shout out to the ones who don't got a match. Go do it again. I'm here to support you. You know what I'm saying? Maybe in a couple weeks. I might not have a match no more, but right now it's it's going good. So, yeah, it don't care. Good energy, good vibe. I'm gonna have to react to these comments on another video or something. Yeah, it's a, gonna, it's a we definitely gonna shit do another time. video on reactions. Ah, gonna, damn, four ninety. I say we let a, a week go. Yeah, and then we come back into that. We'll come back and we look at these. But regardless, I appreciate y'all sticking with me. I think we had. 30 something people in here at one time at one point it's gonna give me the the analytics later to 17 of y'all that stuck through all the way to the end i appreciate y'all really a five hour session of an, on the twitch so i really appreciate the love all the biddies all the titties all the subscriptions all the follows it means the world to me and to be honest i'm not lying about that i will make sure i send y'all y'all pictures when it comes to vancouver and to be honest i might even vlog some of that shit and if y'all fucking with courtney which it is y'all showed me that y'all did i'll make sure he gets some camera time too y'all in another week to re- react to some of these comments and like what other people are saying about us we might even get more background story from t or even other people on the cast so again appreciate y'all rocking for us y'all stay y'all stay blessed and hot like how I always end it you know life is short life is fragile life is precious I appreciate everybody who's trying their best out there. I appreciate all those, you know, that like understand how fragile life is and understand that they might not have nobody. Just know that if you came here and you rocking with me, I'm rocking with you and I love you. Make sure y'all let somebody know that you love them. You know, tell them folks that you love them and and wrap your arms around somebody that you love and make sure that they feel that. And with that, I'm going to bid y'all adieu. Y'all have a great night. And yeah, you got anything? One love, always, man. It's either day one or one day. It's my slogan, so chase your dream. Do what you love. That's all you got to do. Smooth. Love y'all. Y'all be safe. Good night. It's late. Y'all get home safe. Whatever y'all got to do, go to bed. Goodbye. Yeah. You know how to make a smoke at ZP. <laughs> my niggas always told me we was going to smoke to my shit.